welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a couple of hairstyles that you can wear either at the end of your wash and go or at the end of your curly hair routine. When your hair starts getting a little frizzy and tangled and it's time to wash yet but maybe you just need one more day. I hope you find some of these hairstyles helpful and be sure to let me know down below which one is your favorite. Okay so my hair is becoming a little misshapen in the front which is generally telling me that I need to find different styles other than just wearing it down because this is not going to work for me. So the first thing I like to do which you guys just saw is I just like to take the front of both sides and sometimes I'll run gel through it and sometimes I won't but I just like to hit it back with one of these smaller clips and yes these smaller clips actually do work when I have a very small section which to me was a miracle when I found out so I'll just kind of pin it back like that Super easy, really low maintenance, and the hair is out of my face. I really like to play the whole some up, some down hairstyle in a couple different ways. So another one is just me twisting my bangs back and having it some up, some down. So I will grab my bangs, uh, or what used to be bangs, and I will just clip those off separately. And then I will grab the rest of the hair, kind of just from the front in general, to put up. I've got to grab just a little bit more hair from up here. And then I am just going to put that into a ponytail. And you can make this as smooth as you want to. You can use gel, you can smooth out your hair. And then I'm gonna take my bangs and I am going to twist them back. I'm just grabbing a little bit more hair as I go. And I'm gonna twist it, not all the way because it's not all going to fit. And then I'm going to lift up the ponytail and bobby pin it. I'm gonna put one bobby pin down and one bobby pin up. And I'm not gonna have them really cross. I don't care about that too much. My bobby pins love, one loves to slip up, one loves to slip down. So this way I am insured. And then we're gonna do the same for the other side. We are not gonna leave that hanging. And then again, I'm just going to twist it and not all the way down. And I'm going to lift the hair. one bobby pin going upwards and place one bobby pin going down. You probably can't see that. So you've got to mess with bobby pins, but you're going to cover it with your ponytail. So here's the second one. You can kind of squeeze the hair up and down if you want to. keep these bangs that I had before and I'm just gonna again keep them sectioned off but this time I'm gonna kind of pin them up so I can actually see. I'm actually going to slit my hair in two and I want to leave a little bit more on top than I have on the bottom. Um, that should be good. So I'm just gonna take this top part and bun it off just for now. And then I'm going to, oops, we want this up here. I'm going to put this in a ponytail, but I'm gonna bring it up to here. So I don't want it down low, I want it up here. And I'm just gonna wrap that one around a couple times, and then I'm gonna do the same to this one but this one I'm gonna do low. So not up here, but down here. So what we're working with now is sort of an elongated ponytail, and we're not gonna stay a unicorn. I'm gonna take this out right now. And again, I'm going to start twisting. And the reason why I'm twisting is because 
I know a lot of people actually don't know how to braid and so I want to show you you can do these kind of hairstyles without braiding your hair. So I'm going to pull this ponytail, so I'm going to pull this ponytail up and clip underneath just like we did last time. But what I want to make sure is that this is actually going downward now. So generally I use two, uh, two bobby pins per twist, but this time I'm just going to use one for the sake of this video. But definitely use two if you feel like your hair is going to start slipping out. to do is just to take a ponytail and go over the whole thing. So I put in the first pony and then the second pony and this just kind of carries it together and makes it look like it's coming from one ponytail. So this one is a little bit more work but it's worth it. Moving on to the next some up some down hairstyle, we are going to do what we did in the first one and just sort of basically take this front half. You can take as much or as little as you want. I generally just go straight down, and then once I bring it back, I grab a little bit from the top, just because I've got some layers up there, and they do look better in the ponytail than they do left out. So again, I'm just gonna put this in a low bun just to get it out of the way. Here I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of water, and I'm going to just spray it on the outside of my hair. And then I'm gonna take some Eco Styler gel and really not a lot. And I'm gonna rub it in my hands and I'm just gonna start rubbing it on my edges. Then you're gonna take a styling brush and just sort of smooth over the hair. What I like to do after this is put on my headscarf um, just for like 10 minutes to make sure that it stays smooth. But for the purpose of this video, I am not going to. And then I'm going to put a ponytail around it. And somebody mentioned that I say ponytail, not elastic or band or anything like that. And I don't know why, my family and I, we always just called them ponytails. It stuck with me. Um, and then I'm gonna take a chunk of hair from this side and a chunk of hair from this side and they're gonna meet in the middle and I'm gonna twist them and I'm gonna wrap them around the ponytail. The reason why I do this is because my ponytail tends to like go up kind of like it is right now and come into my face and I don't want that. So I like to put that there to make sure nothing gets in my face and then I let the bottom down. So those are all the hairstyles that I have for you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Again, let me know below which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like if you liked the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. For about 45 minutes. That's how long I left the hair dye on. Then I rinsed it in my. It really looks so like washed out. I feel like I need a wash or something. But then, like from the side, it looks like enough.